welcome back to the vlog. I am now in Kuching, Sarawak, in the island of Borneo. This is my hometown. I'm having a holiday here. I'm spending the next two weeks in my hometown. I'm spending quality time with mom. I'm gonna catch up with some friends. And more importantly, I'm gonna eat some good Sarawakian food. You're gonna see a lot of Sarawakian food. And we're gonna start with Golomi. This is Chunhui Cafe. They are known for the laksa. Unfortunately, the laksa store is not open, so I'm gonna order myself a bowl of golomi. This is the mother. Say hi. Hi. What are you eating today, mom? Uh, pork punya. Golomi. Are you sure you're eating golomi? That's me. This is pork pia. Looking delicious. Must try if you come here. This is kolomi, a must-eat dish if you come to Sarawak. This is the local version of popia in Kuching. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. This is my bowl of Sarawak kolomi. Trust me, you can only find this here. The versions they have in Kuala Lumpur or anywhere in West Malaysia, they are just horrible. I forgot to pack my laptop for this trip back home. So for the next two weeks, I don't have a laptop to work with. What a bummer because I do need the laptop for quick edits. I manage my social media through my laptop. Even on my YouTube videos on this vlog and on my main photography channel, I need to type in the descriptions for the videos, the timestamps, replying to comments, emails. I need the laptop. It's so much easier to type on the keyboard rather than working on the phone using the touch screen. That's so inconvenient. So if I don't reply to comments immediately, I'm very, very sorry. But hey, I'll catch up as soon as I can when I return to Kuala Lumpur. For now, I'll bring you around with me, come with me, and we'll enjoy some great Sarakin food. Hey Nina, how are you? Say hi to the vlog. Hello vlog. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Georgette. Hi. How long have we known each other? Um, <laughs> since the early vlogging days really. Oh, wow. Early vlogging days, yeah. like more than 10 years. Definitely. Definitely yeah. more than we're 10 years, at, right? By the way, I'm your follower. I'm your follower. <laughs> really? I subscribe to your vlog. Okay? The, 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 main, the, main, the main YouTube channel or the, the personal vlog one? Actually both. Oh wow, <laughs> thank you so much. So <laughs> and, I've, and I've known this guy before he can take food photos. Yeah, I know, right? I remember specifically I... you went with me to a food review session. I know, I know, I know. And you're like, I don't know how to take photos. I don't even know how to do anything <laughs> by then. It's so sad. Yeah, this Incredible. Georgia has been there since the beginning, before I became a photographer. I think that time we were bloggers in Kuching, we had a lot of blog meetups. Yeah, yeah. Good times. I really miss those times. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no? Oh, drama, drama. <laughs> oh, I can't see myself, but never mind, I'll cut. <laughs> you guys can see yourself, you can see me. Yeah, we can see you. Uh, we are going to enjoy our laksa. We are waiting for the laksa to arrive. That's a dish that, that's to die for if you are in Kuching. <laughs> this is the pandan chicken. I don't know whether it's good or not. Pandan chicken is Thai, right? It's a Thai yeah, dish. It's a, it's a Thai, Thai dish. This, this is our side dish that goes along with laksa. This is Sarawak laksa from Madam Tang's. One of the better places for Sarawak laksa. And we always come here if we can't wake up early in the morning for other places. Because they serve laksa till late afternoon. Or all day, right? Until evening. Yeah, look at the prawns. Things that YouTubers do. Get one prawn, go near. In Kuching, we call this Ngo Hyang. At least that's what my mom taught me. But I don't know why these folks in Penang would call this Loba. Because it doesn't look like Loba to me. We are done with Laksa and we are on the way for some overpriced coffee. The coffee place that Georgette recommended is the Coffee Clinic. 
I want to go as far as to say recommend them. I'm just saying that this is a coffee place. Okay, <laughs> Georgette says this is a coffee place. Let's check it out. Let's do that. And we got ourselves this sweet corner. Woohoo! Look at that huge sofa, huge tables. Love this. I did mine a royalty. Fun fact about Georgette she reads tarot cards. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your tarot reading, Georgette. I have not done this in a long time. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but but basically, uh, tarot reading is a way of getting guidance. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it is fortune telling or trying to predict the future. Never do that. Mm -hmm. Because you're the only one who can decide on your own. Correct. So this is the flat white at coffee clinic that Georgette brought us to. Scary thing is, the flat white cup looks like Cafe Latte's cup. Cafe Latte's cup is here. Oh, that one. That's a, that's a flat white too. Oh, that's a flat white. It looks the same, so it looks suspicious, but I'll try it and see if it's any good. Here goes nothing. This is really, really good. Oh, Highly recommended by Robin Wong and recommended by Georgette. Yay. It has been raining a lot in the past few days in Kuching. The weather wasn't really good for flying the drone. And today the sky is actually quite okay. It's not raining. I'm gonna have some drone action. Okay, yeah. so Lance is recommending me Alfred Laksa. I should try that later. Yep. Say hi to the vlog, Lance. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Lance is a photographer in Kuching. Yep. I'll put his details, uh, social, his, uh, what else do you have besides IG? The website, the yeah, IG. Yeah, yeah. I'll put all yeah, the, everything in the links below. Do check Lance out. Hmm. Sarat Laksa in action. Alfred Laksa. This is the misua that Lance has recommended. It's, what's misua in English? <laughs> Fine noodles or very thin noodles? Thread. So I thread. Yeah, it's a very fine noodle. Uh, Swa basically means thread. And we will have to dip this into the noodle. This is basically red wine uh, for the misua, which will give it a little bit of kick. But the, the thing about miso is very tricky. Oh. They have a technique to cook it one. Not, not easy to make it right. Sometimes, even my grandma also got it wrong. And sometimes it'll become too mushy. Uh, oh. mimi, uh, they, they don't know. Of course, that one bowl of miso was not enough. I got myself another bowl of sarwa laksa. According to Lance, he said that this is highly recommended. They already have tr three branches in Kuching, Alfred Laksa. So I can't, can't wait to try this. Ooh. 